Hey guys, welcome back. We are in game number three of this best of five between Mighty and Scan. Mighty right now uh, is leading 2-0, so it is technically match point. Uh, I thought, you know, the first game was very, very close. Second game failed Nexus bust. Um, well, yeah, I mean, that happens sometimes, right? Like, there's uh, when you go to try to bust Nexus first, there's a certain percentage of the time that it will fail. And it's, it's honestly, it's not that high, I think. For a, a strong Terran player, it's it's pretty low, but occasionally it does happen. Like, you'll have a very optimized build from Protoss, and they'll just kind of micro well, and it won't just, it just won't quite go as, as the Terran wants. I'm actually kind of fascinated because it's, at this point, I feel like it's rather rare. I didn't see anything glaringly wrong that Scan did. Uh, in that situation, so I might go back and watch that replay later. Try to figure out what Mighty did to to force the hold. But anyways, great play there from Mighty, and obviously has to be feeling good about this best of five. There is a little cash prize for whoever does end up winning it. Mighty this time, no Nexus first. Looks like we are on Polypoid, by the way, the most standard of our maps. Just gonna throw down that gateway and go ahead and scout with his probe now. Keep an eye on Scan's base in a moment here. See what he's going to be up to. Oh, the screen bird. Hello. Barracks going up. The position of this tells us it will be a factory expand. So there goes his gas very, very, very quickly. Run Mighty side does choose that second pylon first. I think very likely he will still be going into gas, but does want to get his Zealot out. This is, uh... I've seen this build actually a lot more lately out of Protoss players, where they go second pylon and then gas. Uh, and I think it just makes their build a little bit smoother as far as production goes. Honestly, uh, you know, once upon a time, uh, Terran versus Protoss, or I guess I would should say Protoss versus Terran, was very much about getting ranged Dragoons out as quickly as possible. Uh, and just getting that range upgrade started so that you could put some pressure on Terran. There used to be a lot more pressure builds out of Terran uh, way back then as well, so the range upgrade was uh, even more important so you could just pick off more units. But at this point, there's like a lot of builds where you don't even get range until you're after, after your Nexus, so not surprised to see builds like this kind of come to the forefront because they are a little bit more economic and you don't actually need the range. And that's uh, you know, the understanding of the matchup is more of the change to that than anything else, I would say. Uh, because a lot of those one base pressure builds or slower expansion pressure builds from Terran just don't really work anymore. Uh, all that being said, we do have a little bit of action starting up. Zaw and Probe coming in for a bit of harassment, but the SimCity is amazing. Scan shouldn't really be taking very much damage here, if any. Yeah, some great SCV pulls as well. Oh, takes a hit on the Marine, but that, that can happen. It's not the end of the world. Going to start a Vulture here very quickly. And yeah, I mean, three Marines and a Vulture. Uh, you, that's like... In fact, the Vulture expand has become so popular lately. Third Depot coming up. And that's because anything that opens with a Zealot, you just... You don't even care about. You just push it back instantly. Like, as soon as he sees the Vulture start, the Zealot literally turns around. Because there's no point to stay nearby. You'll just lose the Zealot. <laughs> oh, very quick Citadel. Oh my god. Yeah, no range or anything. Holds the ramp with a Zealot. This Zealot... Oh, he's actually hunting it right down. Impressive. All right, so the Vulture finds it. And let's see if the SCV tries to run past the Dragoon. Yeah, he is. And then he's going to get up here and see a Zealot on the ramp. Okay. And the probe came down. So I think he was selling him with this probe because it doesn't look like we have money for a Nexus as of yet. More gates being made up here. Oh my god, this is such a ladder build. I've played against this so many times. But seeing that there was a Zealot out in the map and then a second Zealot holding the ramp and no Nexus started yet. Okay, he is getting mines. Are the mines going to be in time? Yeah, I think they are. Yeah, they definitely are going to be in time. So as long as he lays the mines well, he should be okay against this incoming DT rush. But it is a three-gate DT rush, so this is like pretty damn all-in from Mighty. Uh, and this is the type of build where you will just walk through mines. So, there could be an issue with that. And in fact, bringing up all of his vultures to this natural... Like, he wants to put some pressure on here. Oh, this is... 
I mean, this has potential to do damage as well, but the DTs popping out of these gates are going to be a real problem. Now, this Zell will probably walk down and tank all the mines right as the DTs popping out. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it walks down, tanks some mines, and here comes the DT. Oh, man. Not a good situation right there. Now, oh, the mine drag killing off so many of the Marines here. And the DT will go out and just swipe a mine that pops out because that seems right. Uh, DT walking towards the main base. And, well, yeah, he's killing mines as they pop up, unfortunately. I think that's actually literally it. You have two DTs in the main. You, you will never finish a turret. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, that best of five, uh, not so, not so good ending there. Uh, thank you for watching. GG. Mighty wins.